It's a missing persons case that has remained unsolved for, gosh, three decades now. It was 30 years ago, today, when four-year-old Dwan Sims simply vanished. You know, his mom, Dewana Harris, told police they went to Wonderland Mall in Livonia. She said the boy was by her side one moment and gone the next. Their mama loves you. Buki loves you, everybody loves you, and we waiting on you to come home. We got your Christmas ready, and just come home. Dewana Harris has since passed away, and the decades-long mystery of what happened to little Dewan continues. Our panel Osborne talked to investigators and went through our archives to take a look back at that cold case that left so many here in Southeast Michigan chilled. Pamela joins us now. The case generated so much attention. Hey, Pamela. Hi, you know, I was just eight years old when Dewan Sims disappeared, living a couple of towns away from Livonia, the last place that he was reportedly seen alive. I remember the fear, the sense of urgency in finding this little boy who to this day has yet to be found. His face, his story, familiar to so many here in Southeast Michigan, all these years later. Dwan is of average height and weight for a four-year-old. His disappearance triggering a massive, exhaustive search. We were looking in different areas of Detroit, Livonia. It was here at the Wonderland Mall in Livonia where Dewan's mother first reported him missing. Mother was shopping at Target yesterday about 2 o'clock. She left Target to go into the main mall area and she says that her boy disappeared at that time. Livonia Police Captain Greg Yawn was part of that search. Well, I remember, you know, getting called into work. As they retraced Dewana Harris's steps that December day, they found themselves with more questions than answers. The entrance that she decided that she was telling us that she walked into, we never had her walking into that entrance with him ever on that video, which led us to believe that something different had happened than what she was reporting to us. There was something else about those surveillance tapes that stood out. According to the captain, the way Dewana moved through that mall with the security guard who helped search for Dewan seemed off. The, the video footage of her walking throughout the mall, walking with what I recall to see at one point was a security officer, and he's questioning people, because she, but she's not engaged with the officer. She's basically looking at stuff on the shelf. Your sixth sense takes a kicks in and says, you know, this, this isn't right. Minutes turn to hours, hours into days. The big story at six, where is Dewan Sims? The search continues this morning for the four-year-old boy who disappeared from a Livonia mall on Sunday. He's been missing now for two days, and police wonder how Dewan could have disappeared from the mall without anyone seeing him. Dewan's disappearance led every newscast. The evidence that we have from the tapes would indicate that Dewan Sims was not at the mall. Paula Tutman, Newsbeat. Paula Tutman wasn't assigned to cover the story, but followed the developments closely. I got stuck as a journalist and as a person on there is a missing child whose mother lied. What I'm hoping is that somebody may have ran across my child, the type of child that he is. He's very friendly and he, they're just using him for company right now. A $5,000 reward for information was offered. And a 24-hour tip line was set up as detectives expanded their search closer to Dwan's home in Detroit. The search for Dwan shifts today to vacant buildings, fields, and trash dumpsters in northwest Detroit. Dwan's story never changed, but it didn't appear to hold up either. Sources do tell News 4 the mother of Dwan Sims, Dwana Harris, did take a lie detector test, and she flunked it. There would be two failed polygraph tests, reported sightings, and an anonymous letter. And then there was this letter sent a month ago from someone claiming Dewan was killed and his body placed in a dumpster. Every lead was followed and each time police were no closer to finding Dewan. His case went cold until 2019 when a man walked into the Livonia police station believing he might be Dewan Sims. This past Wednesday, a man walks into here, the Livonia Police Department telling them, I am Dewan Sims. A blood test later confirmed he was not Dewan. And a year later in 2020, Dewana Higgins, who married 
moved away and had more children, died of a heart attack. Do you still feel to this day that Dewana Sims knew what happened to Dewan? Yes, I do. Captain Yan still believes someone is sitting on information that could give Dewan and all those who loved him and searched for him some closure. The hopes at this time is, and as time passes, you hope that somebody has heard or knows something about this case from 30 years ago and that somebody with a heart that you know knows what really happened would come forth and call our department and you know give us some information that we could follow up on and hopefully bring the case to a resolution. I reached out to Zachary Sims, that's Dewan's father. I did not hear back, but in October, he made a post for Dewan's 34th birthday, saying he thinks about him every single day and is holding out hope that a miracle will happen, that Dewan will be found alive. Now's a good time to mention if you have any information at all, because as you heard there, Livonia police do feel that someone knows something. The number to call is right there on your screen. We've also posted it for you on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Karen DeMond. Yeah, thanks for keeping that story active. Thank you, Pamela.